So you find us here today just after lunch has been served. It's a warm space, it's open to all. Um, everybody's welcome to come on down, whether they want to drop in just for a cup of tea and a chat for, for half an hour, get some respite, or whether they want to come for a, for a lunch, for a main meal. The space is open from 10 in the morning till four in the evening. Um, so it's, it, it can be here all day um, and just come and meet people, have conversations um, and get some respite if required. So the council's really keen to make sure that as many residents as possible are supported as we go into this cost of living emergency over the winter and, and, and things are set to get harder sadly for, 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 for many people in the city. Uh, what the council is going to do is we're going to promote events like this that are being delivered by our you know, community partners. Um, in addition to that, the, the really, really pleased to announce actually this week that the, the council have got a grants programme which is available to support people offering warm spaces. Some of those are new pop-up spaces like this. This is week three or four, I think, um, that's been running. Some of it will go to support Supporting organisations that have had regular events going all year round, not specifically targeted at, at, at keeping um, people warm over the winter, but that support will be there from the council. So the grants um, application process is now live. You can click onto the City Council website, follow the process straight through. It's broadly based on, on the similar system that we had before, so it's straightforward, it's online, it's, it's click click through, um, submit, and then they'll be really, really quick moving to make sure that um, those grants are sent out to the people that need them as soon as possible. I think, sadly, it could be absolutely vital um, as we go ahead. I mean, energy unit price has been capped, but it's twice what it was last year. People were struggling last year without even um, thinking what, what that's going to do to household budgets on top of the soaring food price inflation and everything else that people are having to deal with at the moment. So having these pop-up spaces, I think it's, it's absolutely amazing that they're being delivered all across the city they're going to be needed I'm sure they'll be well used yeah. this isn't something that the City Council has a statutory duty for but it's just such an emergency we can't stand by and do nothing so we're stepping into the space to try and support organizations who are already um, producing pop-up events like this we're supporting them directly through grants that we're now making available as I said before it's on, live on the website click through get that application in if you're offering any sort of warm space over the winter. Quaker Social Cafe is a, is a new initiative we've made we started at the beginning of October um, we certainly plan to go up till Christmas and we, we hope if it's working well, and it's working well so far, we'll continue right through to the end of March. So we had an opportunity because a regular booking uh, came to an end. We thought, well, how can we show our commitment to our testimony of equality? And the one thing we think we could do is to respond to the initiatives around the city to add another event where people can come and have a warm, safe place to be, uh, have some soup, teas and coffees um, and, and spend some time together so it's 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 our way of supporting our local community. 